Um, I'm John Coase from RF Safe, and uh, today we're going to demonstrate one of our newest products. Uh, it's actually uh, utilizing a material called graphene. It's a, a very cool man-made material that actually outperforms any other uh, radiation shielding on the market. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to have Katie um, call our, our test phone. And as a matter of fact, uh, we're expecting in about another 24 to 48 hours, right into that time frame. And you can see that um, Katie's wearing our belly band, and this is actually a radiation shielded material right here. And um, so go ahead and call our test phone, Katie. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, there's that, you know, no matter what you do, when you're pregnant, the phone is always going to be near your belly. And um, all right, go ahead and dial it in. And, um, you know, so you just got to make sure that there's uh, some shielding between the baby and the cell phone because the phone is always close to the belly. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and answer real quick. All right, so here we have um, our graphene case. And, and I'm going to go ahead real quickly and just kind of explain what graphene uh, is here. Um, graphene is a, a nanomaterial that uh, actually um, uh, was responsible for some uh, winning of the Nobel um, Prize in Physics in 2012. But the graphene is this transparent material that's applied to this polyester background right here. And if you can see it real close, you can see the shininess um, right there on it. And it has an amazing properties as far as strength. It's stronger than steel, more conductive um, uh, than silver as far as heat, more uh, electrically conductive than gold. Um, electrons move extremely faster here, which gives it uh, some amazing properties. I mean, you should look up graphene. Um, but is it a material for the future for actually uh, shielding cell phones and potentially without even using a case? So that's why graphene is a very important development. Um, this is our older shielding material. Um, when I say older, it's conventional. I mean, this is, you know, shielding um, radio frequency radiation is not uh, magic by any way. It's, um, it's pure science, and who discovered the principles here were Michael Faraday um, in the uh, 1860s. And, um, and if you look real close, you can see that this is a conductive mesh that's all inside of there, and that is what you'll find inside of this uh, case here, which is our, our first generation using the um, conventional um, regular metal shielding material and of course you can't see through metal so one of the big advancements with graphene is it is transparent it is on a polyester material that is, is black but um, it has the potential for um, being used in the cell phone the, the screen uh, the screen covers all the shield electromagnetic radiation so it's a big material advancement that I think is very important for our industry um, but anyway, that aside, these still work just amazing as always. But let's go ahead and demonstrate um, as we have the call still going. We're going to turn on our tri field meter. We're going to put this over to the electric microwave setting. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and, and test the radiation that's coming from the front and back of the phone. Now you can see that from the back, you know, and uh, if you could zoom in real close here so people can see the numbers on the on the meter, you know, just get right closer with the phone if you may. Yep, and then, uh, so as you can see, that's that's really pagan from the back of the phone. Now see, from the top of the phone, it's a lot less, but that is because the transmitters are located at the bottom. Now, one important thing that I wanted to mention here, I have the manual for the tri-field here because you see a lot of tests going on on the internet um, where people are, are basically, you know, setting them like this. And of course, with our shielding between the phone, it's gonna do magnificent, it's hardly moving at all. Um, you know, and uh, you know, of course, if we were to compare that to the back of the phone, you know, it gets up there and it's just pegging. That's because there is absolutely no shielding material whatsoever in the back of this case, and that's to make sure that the phone operates at its lowest output power potential that it that it can. So, when we actually compare the differences here between the um, microwave exposure that you get when you're, and I wanted to point out again, and this is a Samsung, so you really need to kind of know where the where the actual um, uh, where they're actually located as far as the antennas go but now uh, Samsung does a great job of uh, keeping the radiation to a minimum and keeping it down to the bottom now as you can see it's just kind of spiking right there but you know so these are the kind of readings that you can kind of expect um, as normal from the front of a Samsung phone um, you know and you will definitely get some big spikes at times as you just saw right there and you know I'm just gonna go ahead and, and close the case and then you can show that you're gonna 
completely eliminate. I mean, go ahead and get right up on there, and I mean, we can keep it here all day, and you're not going to see one of those big spikes, and, and that's just kind of because the shielding material is between you and, and the device. Now, if we put it to the rear of the phone, as you can see, that radiation is completely pegging. Um, you know, so, and of course, as we work our way up to the little bit, to the top of the phone, now it's still pegging. Now let's go ahead and flip it right on over. And, you know, as you can see, that right there is just, just wonderful. And this is the graphene. This is a, a nanotechnology material. And as you can see, where the radiation is always the most intense, which is the transmitter at the bottom of this uh, particular phone, the, the Samsung Galaxy line. Um, but you end up with the, the you know, the radiation, you know, like I said, you can see it right here. It's kind of bouncing around. And, um, you know, but there's definitely radiation there. And that's something you just don't want going through your head, especially when that's usually put, held pretty close to your body. Um, you know, at the, oop, and you can see it just pegged completely there. But, um, you know, so like when you're texting, you would want to go ahead and turn this around, you know, so that you could actually operate the phone. And now you still end up with, you know, just about the same amount of radiation, you know. I mean, it's nothing drastic coming from the, um, from the iPhone, uh, or I'm sorry, from the Galaxy uh, model. But as you can see, it is definitely doing some bouncing around there. And uh, it's definitely higher than the zero that we get when we actually take this and we shut it completely. And you can see that's just right on down to zero. And this is just amazing because this is the graphene. And then we compare that to the rear and you can see that's just pegging. So again, that's the most important part is you have to understand that when you make a phone call, okay, you wanna close this case. And this case has always got to have the front shielded part between you and the device all the time. Um, if this goes into your pocket, it's the front shielded part, the part that you saw that basically puts out no radiation with this, the, the scrapping between you and the device um, it is so important to do. Um, because again, you know, this is what you want as far as exposure goes. You know, um, this is not what you want. Okay, I mean, you can just see what kind of a difference the RF safe case makes. And again, to point out, when you read it in the owner's manual, there is an L-shaped antenna to pick up microwaves. So when you see people testing cases like this, this is improper. Okay, you are not actually using the actual proper use of the meter. So th this is not a, a valid test with, with this because the the transmitter um, and the receiving antenna for microwaves is located in the front. You read the owner's manual, and that's why you need to actually put the case, the front of it, up to the meter. And, and as you can see, you get a much different reading when you use the meter properly than if you just use it and you put it like this. You know, you got this little fluctuation thing going, but you're not, you know, is what you're doing here is you're catching it on the on the actual circuit board and motherboard of the meter. You, you need to use the meter correctly. So when you see people testing these cases online, you know, they really need to make sure that they're, you know, using them like they're supposed to be used. And this is, this is success, people. This is a graphene case, uh, the only one in the world. Uh, it's uh, made by us, RF Safe. Um, and uh, we made an announcement last year that we were gonna make it a big effort of ours um, to go ahead and um, to get this a reality. And um, here it is. Um, you know, you've got the, uh, you know, the uh, Samsung. Um, we're we're going to have them for about ten phones all together. And um, you know, this just totally just drops it right down to zero. And uh, of course, when you compare that to the back of the phone, um, where the transmitter is located, you know, that's just you know completely pegging it. And um, you know, so right here, you definitely see that there's you know fluctuate fluctuations. They get higher and lower. It really just depends. We're in a pretty good uh, cell zone, uh, cell tower zone here, but um, you know it pops up to three, and um, you know of course it even pegs higher than that at times. Like you know, like right there, it's pretty much pegging pretty pretty high now. You know, but now we can take that reading, and you can see just what it's doing. And now if we take that and we close it, look at that. Okay, I mean that speaks for itself. There's no magic, no tricks going on here. This is how you use the case. There's the front, there's the back. I think I've showed you several times. That is not picking up the electric field. There's an electric setting. We were picking up microwaves. If you wanna see the electric um, fields that come from the screen, you can certainly do that as well. But these are not microwaves. Okay, now watch the reading when I take it from electric and put it on the microwave. Now see, you know, it's, it's still moving around there because there's microwaves that we're being exposed to. But as soon as we put this in between here in the microwave setting, whammo, look at that. I mean, that is success. This, um, I would have to say, 
we've made the best case that we've ever made in 20 years of making cases. And of course, uh, we founded RF Safe the website in 1998, and we put a, a big emphasis on making sure that we have the best products on the market. Um, now, the uh, the only other thing I'd like to maybe point out is it also works as a kickstand for view and media, so you don't have to hold the phone if you're if you're um, actually watching something or, or reading something. Um, again, the text, very simple to do that. Now this case has a magnetic closure, as you can hear it. Okay, so I mean that just closes and you don't have to worry about it opening up. Um, now, in comparison to our first generation case, you know, it has a little magnetic latch that it actually uses to, to open and close. Um, you know, this is actually the one for the S8. And uh, here I'd like to go ahead and, and put it in to a first generation case so you can go ahead and, and see that as well. Um, let's see here. Alrighty, so, and as you can see, the little magnetic latch holds this. I think the guys kind of prefer not having the, the magnetic latch, um, but you know, it's, uh, you know, that's what you kind of, let's get it all the way in there. Um, but that's uh, how that holds, and it, it does, it holds really, really good. Um, this has been our most successful case that we've, uh, you know, that we've ever had. It's, uh, we sell it all around the world. Um, and uh, so let's just kind of do a little radiation test with this as well. Um, as you can see, it's pegging in the back there, you know, just as it did with the other. And then when we go ahead and put this up there, as you can see, you know, it's dropping right on down to zero. Just a slight, slight bit of flux fluctuation right there. But this is a this is an amazing quality case too. The price point is a lot cheaper than the graphene because graphene is so expensive. But now here's the back of that back of the phone, and, you know. And as you can see, it's just putting out you know some good heavy spikes of radiation. And uh, when we put this against the shielding, there we go. And when we open this case up, and we actually go to read the front of the phone, as you can see, there's the radiation that we don't want to be exposed to when it's up against our heads. And there you can see it actually really, really big. Um, you know, so that's that's open, you know, and you can see there's definitely radiation there. And now let's go ahead and close it. And whammo, you know, same result as the graphene, but the graphene is an advancement in materials, which I think is very, very important for our industry. It allows for transparent shielding, and, and I can't stress how important that's going to be in the future. Um, we've also uh, know that it bonds very well, incredibly strong to materials. Um, this is a material that in the future could be actually woven into smart clothing. Um, you know, uh, clothing that actually has, uh, you know, um, you know, basically in the future, you know, uh, wearable technologies. Uh, this graphene and graphene within the fabrics is probably going to be the best, most uh, efficient um, shielding to, to ever be uh, made for that type of uh, application. Smartphones, lots of applications as well, and uh, we're just really happy that we're one of the, we are the first person in the world to um, you actually use graphene in such a revolutionary product. And um, you know the uh, you know so the styling difference is really the two different shielding materials here. First generation uses the conventional uh, metal mesh, and uh, with the graphene, um, here's the graphene here that we were we were just showing you. And uh, the graphene, we actually have two layers of graphene in between a, a hard cardboard um, um, uh, substrate in the middle. Um, and it's what that double layer does is that's what really gives us the effect of this that, that we uh, that we achieve here. And um, uh, you know, again, you know, with our graphene case. Look, we got the meter off, let's turn it on real quick. All right, look at that, full blast. Put it on the front, and I mean, you know, nothing. It's just incredible. Um, you know, one of the absolute best cases that we have ever made. You know, so here's the front of the phone again. You just don't want to be exposed to that type of radiation. Um, and then close it. You know, the new technology speaks for itself. Um, graphene is the superior uh, material for, for any RF shielding. And another thing, um, other companies aren't testing their shielding material. Um, in te they tell you that it blocks 99% of the radiation, but you know they're testing the material by itself. Um, like for instance, you know I could go ahead and put the phone, you know behind this, and of course I'm, I'm testing the material. Of course, that's always going to give us a great result. But how these cases are made, there's absolutely um, you know, no uh, shielding in the rear 
um, or the sides, and, and that's to allow this thing to go ahead and make a connection with the, with the cell tower because if it impedes that signal any at all, the, the phone itself is going to increase in output power. And uh, that's something that we don't want to do. Um, you know, so uh, I just wanted to uh, show you that we're going to put this up for sale on uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, so you're going to see it available. I only have a hundred of each of these available for each model phone of the 10 that we're going to be carrying to start off with. Eventually, um, these are the colors that I think that we're going to probably go with. Um, you know, so the, um, I, right now I had to start with just getting the black because it was, uh, you know, graphing isn't a, a very, it's still pretty inexpensive to get it manufactured in mass quantities. Um, but as that price point comes down, I think we're going to be able to see graphing used in all kinds of electronics in the future and, and shielding capabilities and, and all sorts of things um, that we never thought possible um, not very long ago. But uh, so anyway, and um, I guess if there's, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we do have our logo lightly stamped in, into, the, into the front cover and it says RF safe right there. Um, you can't really see it very much, but I didn't intend it for you to, but I want you to understand that this is the part with the shielding, okay? It's very important that you understand that. And um, inside of each case, you're actually going to find the Berkeley, California warning that's required for retailers to give um, to anyone that purchases a, a, a cell phone in Berkeley, California. So, um, but this is a very important warning and should be made uh, available to all consumers in all counties, cities, um, and states in, in the United States. But as it stands, Berkeley, California is the only one. Um, and, uh, you know, so very important safety information inside the case as well. Um, if I could just mention one thing about this little slot, this slot is not for you to pile up credit cards. When you pile this thing up with credit cards, it starts to pull the shielding away from the phone and gives it an angle. Um, radiation travels in a straight line until it's reflected or absorbed, and by having it at an angle, it is going to reflect at an angle. We want the radiation to re reflect back into the phone. It doesn't come out the other side because this is all metallic and, and there's a lot of metal parts in here. It's just going to re-radiate from the phone as the radiation normally would, but it's not going to come toward the user. As soon as you start to build up, you know, a lot of stuff in there and you pull this thing a few millimeters away, you will not get the effectiveness that you do when you have this shield, uh, completely up against it. So if somebody gives you a business card or something like that, you have you know nowhere else to put it, you want to make sure you don't use it, sure, stick it in there. Um, don't stick anything that is metallic or anything in there um, because that could alter the shielding performance as well. So, um, you know, I just want you to know it's a bad idea really even for credit card slots. I almost feel like getting, uh, taking this away just so that it's not abused. Um, and uh, you know it affects the uh, shielding uh, performance in any way but this is the new graphene case people thank you so much um, it's been a lot, like I said it's been a, a full year of working on the development of getting the material um, that we needed to, to make this case and then to make the case in such a nice quality leather you know it's uh, it's very sturdy um, and, and as you can hear that magnetic pull without the latch I think is uh, is very stylish as well and um, so again, thank you very much um, for um, you know uh, visiting RF Safe, and I uh, hope that these uh, products can keep you and your uh, family uh, safe for a long, long time. Thanks again. Bye.